Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, I am Code Blue, and today we're going to be covering basic arithmetic on uh, Lua. So if we open up the file from our previous project. Let's just go ahead and get Sublime. So this is the file from before. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of everything in there except the io.read and we're going to take a look at some, some maths. So the best way to describe maths in Lua is, is how you would do maths in real life. Um, let's say we create a variable. Okay, when we assign its value, we can do 10 plus 10. Okay, now that would work. That, that would add 10 and 10 together, and then whatever that value is, it would store it in test. So we can go ahead and uh, just double check this by going ahead and printing out uh, the variable test. And when we go ahead and we print this out and we run it, as you can see here, we get 20, which is 10 plus 10. Now, on top of that, we, you know, there, there, there's the minus, which will minus, uh, a slash will divide, and an asterisk key will multiply. Now, there are your four most common ones. I just want to point out before we go any further, though, is that you don't have to be a math genius to be a programmer. Um, a lot of people get the idea that because programming is based largely around numbers, which it is, means that you have to be a math god but honestly you don't um, most of the time you'll only be doing basic maths it's not very often you do complex maths unless you do complex things um, so anyway we'll, we'll continue now so that's our basic operator so you know if we did 10 times 10 hit control s to save and we execute the script again as you can see there it is 100 10 times 10 now you can do a lot more than that we can tie in as many as we wanted okay now this is wrapped to the next line but do you see what I mean? How we can tie as many as we want. Um, so we can go ahead and, and check that now. And there you go, 101. Now, one more thing is that you can use brackets. So if you've ever done anything like bid mass or, or, or the ordering of plus multiplication and division, um, if you haven't, you can ignore this part. But basically, we could do 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. OK, so basic algebra like that, stuff like that will work. Um, and as you can see, uh, that's our result. So what else can we do with this? Well, we can assign this to value 100 and we could create test two and assign it to value 500. Then we can make a variable called test three and we can assign that test plus test two. So when doing mathematical equations, you can refer to the name of variables and that will work. So if we go ahead and, and open up this file now, as you can see, our result is 100. I'm sorry, I'm still printing out the old variable. You want to print out test three. Now when we run this file, as you can see, 600 is our output result. Now, that's just basic maths, and you may be wondering, well, how do I do more complex maths? And to do that, we use what's known as the maths library. Um, and by just simply typing math dot, um, you'll then have a ton of functions you can use, um, such as math dot sine. Uh, you have like math dot cosine, math dot tangent. You have uh, math dot pow, which is to the power of. You have math dot round, which will round a number. You have math dot actually math dot round. I don't think it's a vanilla part of Lua. You have math dot floor, um, which will take any decimal number and and take it down to zero. You also have math dot seal, which is the opposite. It takes uh, any number and rounds it up to the nearest whole number. Um, and you know, there's, there's a ton you can look at. I will put a link in the description to a wiki page that contains all the information on the mass library and how you can use them. Um, but yeah, so you know, we, we could do something like uh, test, uh, test, whoops, sorry, excuse me. We could say that uh, test three is equal to math dot uh, pow of test and uh, test two. So that's going to say test to the power of test two. Uh, and if we go ahead and run this, as you can see, our result is an insanely large number. Um, so there you go. Um, but what you can also do when doing to the power of, you could do just, uh, I don't know the exact name for that symbol, but just doing that symbol will also do to the power of, as you can see. Uh, there, there's a few more such as uh, modulus and stuff and again I know a lot of this might not make sense if you haven't done too much maths but don't worry about that I'm only explaining it for people who need to know it you don't need to know this to be able to make the majority of what you'll want to make um, but yeah so that pretty much concludes this lesson I know it was short um, but I, ju I was just describing the basics of maths so in the next one we should move on to if statements 
Um, but as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. And if you like, then be sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions whatsoever, leave a comment and I will get back to you.